So Paige, we're on to um, a, a little different twist here. We're gonna talk about, um, we're gonna go to Lost Tribe Esports. And what's really fascinating about this next presenter, uh, his name is Andrew Exler. Here he is, Andrew, welcome. How you doing? Great to see both um, of you today. Great to see you too. Um, a, a couple things. First of all, Lost Tribe Esports is a nonprofit organization. So that's, you're playing in, in the world of, of esports and nonprofits. It's, it's nice to see that. It's also, you know, I see that Ohio University uh, shirt on there. You know, that's a, you know, one of the that. Tops, yeah, there you go. One of the top sports management uh, programs out there in the country. So you're, you're an alum from that. Uh, My dad went to Ohio University. Go Bobcats. We're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, and gosh, every time I see you, you know, move around, Paige, but that chair is just, I, I, I it looks so great, you know, like I, oh, look at that. Product plug. <laughs> yeah, a little zip chair gaming product plug. Well, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but um, um, hey, Rob, where's my chair? No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk about that. Um, anyway, so Andrew, um, you are based in Pittsburgh, um, Ohio University alum, you're you're all about. I notice you know looking to connect connect great people to success. Um, you love to you know provide expertise in social media marketing and and trying to develop and help nonprofits and startups and small businesses um, just to make the world a better place. And and I think it's awesome that you've now you and and Lenny have come together and are are, are doing this within the esports world. So um, the floor is yours. Great, great. Well, I appreciate you uh, giving Lost Tribe the space. As you said, um, definitely a little bit more interesting in the esports space, being a nonprofit organization, and it has been uh, quite a whirlwind in our first two years of existence. Uh, just quickly, some background on what Lost Tribe is, who we are, who our team is. So I serve as everybody who's presenting today understands in the startup space. My role with Lost Tribe is Director of Content and Strategy. So ultimately I oversee our social media team and some of our partnerships, but we all do a little bit of everything. And I know in the startup world, everyone understands that a little bit. Uh, but for us, we are an organization focused on working with Jewish teenagers and young adults. A uh, little exciting plug right now is we're getting ready to launch our 18 plus server uh, at some point this summer. So right now we've been working with 13 to 18 year olds and now we're gonna be launching into the young adult space. So really exciting opportunities for us. Uh, but just a little bit of background of where we came to be as a Jewish organization, uh, though we do work with uh, many communities and really get have gamers from a variety of backgrounds. Uh, Lenny, our CEO, as you mentioned, he recognized that in the Jewish communal space, really only about 20% of Jewish teenagers are engaged uh, in some way, leaving about 80% uh, disengaged. A lot of it comes after bar and bat mitzvah years around seventh, eighth grade. Uh, and for us, our goal is not only to retain uh, that 20%, uh, but we also wanna build stru structures to lower that number of who is disengaged. So for us through gaming, we know that esports is gonna be the tool uh, that's it, that we're able to do that with. Uh, just this graphic that we have up here just shows all of the different partners, camps, youth groups, day schools, all these organizations that we are working with in North America and around the globe, uh, where one team uh, can bring three other friends in there to game, whether it's in our tournaments, in-person events, chatting on our Discord channel, helping us stream on Twitch. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities of what we've been doing to continue uh, engaging that 20% and making sure it doesn't turn to only 15 or 10%. Just some of our basic stats. We launched in February 2019 uh, with an organization called BBYO at their international convention. Um, and since then, we have engaged over 6,000 Jewish teenagers on our platforms in person uh, through online tournaments and just generally on our Discord channel, uh, which has been a great hub of connection, friendships being created, a lot of engagements across the world. We're seeing conversations, teens in Pittsburgh having conversations with teens in Sydney, Australia. And uh, for somebody, if you take a step back, where was this 15 years ago whenever I was just playing on my N64? Uh, NFL Blitz at the time was like the hottest thing, but you can only play with your friend next to you. Uh, and, and just some of the, the basic stats, when you look at it, do you see since mid-March this year, we've had over 128,000 minutes of tournament gaming taking place. Uh, and that for us, 
understanding that we are engaging Jewish teenagers, especially in light of this pandemic, that we are able to be a bit of a silver lining to create a little bit of normal. Uh, I joke whenever I talk to some of our partners that we've had parents who at first the parents are saying my kids play too many video games and now it's thank you so much for keeping my kids busy while we're all stuck at home. Uh, so it's always a fun conversation to have. And for me personally, uh, as a director of content and strategy, uh, when it comes to social media, and especially in the nonprofit space, there's a lot of very interesting accounts. There's some really great ones. There's some very basic accounts out there. For us, we want to really build a culture. We are inherently a Jewish organization, but how do you balance uh, the Jewish part of our organization with also being fun and engaging with esports. We want to have Jewish role models and we want to build what we're doing off of Jewish values, but we also want to have a little bit of fun with it. It doesn't always need to be so serious. Uh, you can see in here one of our graphics every Friday uh, before Shabbat, we try in some way to do a fun send off into Shabbat, uh, into the weekend of rest. We created a graphic with a Shabbat Shalom character in Madden, created our own, own court in NBA 2K. Um, but then also what else we're building in here, uh, we have a few hosts. We've really been creating a lot of um, personal branding and trying to uh, have influencers of sorts who are on our social media team who are posting videos every Thursday to share what's coming up. Uh, we're on TikTok. We've really started to become more active on more platforms now that we've had the capacity to be great on there. Um, and then also in light of everything else, we are a community. We know that, again, we are a Jewish organization, but it doesn't mean we all look the same. It doesn't mean we act the same. It doesn't mean we're all the same person. So for us, really understanding the inclusive nature of esports is how we drive home a lot of our wins. We're celebrating Pride Month right now. So on any of our platforms, you'll see we have our Pride logo up there. Uh, in light of the recent events in the country, we make sure that uh, our community is educated and they're hearing from us. Uh, on how we are handling any situation because we want everybody in our community to feel included and they want to be able to have a lot of fun. But also, where is it our responsibility to teach a little bit uh, while keeping things light and keeping things fun? So for us, it's very important. And just uh, you happen to get us at a really good time. Uh, in the last 10 days, we've been uh, doing quite a few different new things. We just had our first ever girls only tournament, which was for all Jewish female identifying uh, gamers. We had 32 teens who registered for that event. Uh, we had our first parent, uh, parent focused event uh, with Todd Harris from Skillshot. Uh, media in Atlanta. He hosted this awesome event with over 150 parents who pre-registered. We ended up reaching over 2,000 unique viewers on social media. Uh, and we just launched our first Fortnite tournament last week. And for us, uh, it, it was unbelievable. Our first two tournaments, we had over 500 participants. Uh, Wayne, as you mentioned, we know Fortnite just launched a brand new season. I was playing a little bit uh, earlier this afternoon, trying to learn a little bit about the map. And we're really excited to have another Fortnite tournament coming up later this month. And we're meeting the teens where, where they are. So we are having a lot of fun uh, doing that. And for us, what's next? Uh, we're going to the moon. Uh, we're really excited with what we're doing virtually, but also opportunities to get back in person, to put on a North American league, uh, teaming up JCCs, synagogues, camps, day schools, et cetera. And our goal is to get to Israel. We want to really create, uh, as Lenny will say, and if he's watching right now, I know he's flying to Atlanta, that this is going to be the largest uh, Jewish event in the history of ever. That is his quote, uh, and I've got it ingrained up here. Um, so for us, we're really excited uh, about where we're taking this and where we've been in the first two years. And uh, we appreciate uh, all of your support uh, moving forward. That's awesome. That's awesome. Andrew, thank you so much for, for sharing all of this. And, you know, I, I, I had one question about, you know, what with, with what you've been doing. I mean, you know, I know that you, know, you have a, a heck of a leader in Lenny um, and he's incredibly passionate. And I love I love his quote. But so far, if you had to sort of say what was the what's the number one most you know, exciting thing that's happened at Lost Tribe um, so far in, in, in your in your history, in your short history, very short history. Ooh. Um, I, I mean, I, if it's a specific thing, I mean, it'd be very broad. I think it's just how we have seen these tournaments grow. Every time I go onto our Discord channel, our numbers are increased by a few hundred. I know we hit our thousand uh, person mark a few weeks ago. So for us, the most exciting thing is seeing that the numbers are there and we are reaching the teens. Uh, it's really getting across to the parents how, how esports is so much bigger than just video games. I mean, honestly, 
growing up, I, I played video games. I had an Xbox. I would not have considered myself a gamer. But being an OU grad, understanding the sports, at the business side of sports, the esports industry and the inclusive nature of it, um, for us, it's a home run. Paige? I, I absolutely love this. I mean, I don't think I could have said it any better myself in terms of how esports is all about the community side. Everybody wants to share information. They want to share their experiences and they want to compete against one, one another. Um, so to see the the sub communities that are building out of out of video gaming and how even these sub communities interact with one another and sometimes compete with one another, it just shows how how big esports is and how big the impact of esports is. Um, you know, you talked about being a gamer when you were younger. I played video games a little bit when I was younger, but the the connection to the people you're playing against wasn't really there in terms of how far it's come now. So this is awesome. Thank you. Well, again, congratulations on all the all the success you've had so far, Andrew. And I hope that uh, your 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 dream and Lenny's dream to take uh, Lost Tribe Esports to Israel and the Moon uh, happen. And uh, we wish you wish you the best. Again, thanks a lot. Thank you both for your time. So we're.